All right, folks, my name is uh, Humayun Wahab, and I'm the Executive Secretary of the Canadian Seniors Cricket Association. With me here today, I have additional three um, folks who have been selected to represent Canada at the first ever Cricket World Cup, or 50 Cricket World Cup in Sydney, Australia, in November 2018. Uh, with me, I have here Shanta, uh, Rafiullah, and uh, the evergreen Talal Iqbal, who happens to be, happens to be uh, the president of Canadian Seniors Cricket Association, as well as captain of the selected 16 to represent Canada at the first ever uh, Cricket World Cup um, 2018. So without further ado, I would bring it back to uh, Mr. Shanta. Shanta, uh, congratulations on being selected. First Thank of you. All, first of all, and all the best luck uh, to you on this uh, on this tournament. Uh, Thank you. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? What do you do in cricket? How long have you been playing cricket? Where have you played cricket? And how excited are you to be part of this uh, 16? Well, uh, I'm, I'm very excited, obviously, uh, to be playing uh, this kind of cricket, this level of cricket at this age. I mean, I never thought I'd be doing that at this age, for sure. Uh, Thanks to you guys, the organization here, for giving us the opportunity to, first of all, even uh, have a chance, and then secondly, of course, being selected, which is amazing. Um, so thank you for that. Um, my cricketing background is basically all my cricket was my younger days were in Sri Lanka, of course, growing up. Uh, I come, up, come from a cricketing family. My dad was a uh, captain of the school. Uh, my cousin captain of the school. My brother played for his school, played for Sri Lanka. Uh, Rohan was also on the team. Um, so I played for my school, played club cricket. I came here when I was 20 years old. Um, pretty much I only played for one club here, uh, competitively, which is Grace Church Cricket Club. Um, played from 84 till uh, around nine, uh, 2005. Uh, we, we were really Probably the cream of the crop from 85 to 96, we were the team to beat. They were even had, you know, was trying their best to beat us. Um, then I kind of took it easy after 2005. Now I just play some friendly cricket um, for a team called York Cricket Club, uh, mainly guys about my age. <laughs> um, and now I'm a little more excited now to play because my son uh, has taken up to cricket. So. It gives me an incentive to keep playing. Um, you know, all he has his stories about us. Uh, now I got to put, you know, the walk the walk now uh, for all the other talk that I've made to him. So, <laughs> uh, so looking forward to it. Certainly, you know, uh, really excited. What can I say? Get a chance to go to Australia is another dream of mine. Uh, to play cricket is even more. So, thanks to everyone for the opportunity. Excellent, thank you. And it's actually, uh, while you were at it, it's actually on my bucket list as well, list as well to have my seven-year-old uh, sometime when he grow up, he, he gets a chance to play with me as well. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Thank you. And with that, uh, Rafiul, uh, why don't you share about your experiences so far? How excited have you been? And as I hear, you have made a long journey to come all the way to Canada for these trials, which is a big, big commitment. So why don't you walk us through that as well? I think the, the, the way you started saying the, the, the journey which I've made to uh, <coughs> do the trials, <laughs> it shows my excitement anyways, because Absolutely. otherwise traveling for 30 hours, including bus trip in, into it, was really difficult. About myself, I've been playing cricket almost like 30 years now. Uh, I've been playing cricket in Pakistan. I've played around 10 years of uh, first class cricket mm -hmm. that includes Kazam Trophy, Patterns Trophy, and Wills Cup. And I led uh, Pakistan universities in uh, uh, 2007. And uh, sorry, in, back in 1992. Th sorry, I was a little excited about that. So it was in 92, and uh, that tournament we won. So that is one of the things. I've played against uh, Sri Lanka while they were traveling in 92 in Pakistan and I've been playing cricket in uh, pro cricket in, in UK and then I played here in Canada I've started in 2006 from 2006 to 2009 I was playing TND in, uh, with the West Indies club so the cricket is like I've been playing cricket for a while and uh, literally it is there's no doubt about uh, being excited to play and join certain uh, team of mix uh, because we've been playing with our people more of most of the time but this is the first time which we are getting into a situation we are playing with multicultural uh, people with different uh, like you know men uh, thoughts about the cricket and uh, that's that's one of the thing which is very very important for me and that made me so much excited 
to come all over from uh, and about playing in in Canada it's not like I've not played a lot of cricket in Canada but whatever I've played in Canada it was on the top level obviously I've been playing TND uh, back in from 2006 to 2009 so TND uh, Toronto industry cricket league exactly yes I've been playing for uh, West Indies and I I can tell you I've, I'm one of the the pro player who's been paid player in back in 2006 wow. for yeah, yeah I I think I'm I'm one of the, the one of the player and uh, it's been um, uh, it's been very good today. I, I've, I've been to the, that grounds and all, and it remind me the as if I've become 26 again. Uh, but with all that said, uh, it's like I'm really um, uh, thankful to the management uh, just because to consider the the experience and all that. Obviously, I, we have around five months to uh, come back with the with the energy with the most of fitness which we definitely have to do because it's uh, selection is one thing which is very important but to keep yourself like up to a level I just I, I always try to say that we, we always try to make sure that we will not let our management down when it comes to participating and doing the actual like cricket so honestly like I have a lot to say but I have limited time so I have to just uh, that's what I, I have to say Absolutely, thank you for sharing that. Uh, speaking of experience, I have a lot of experience in cricket as well, but my management that never bites. They never, they never trust me on that. But I'll take some tips from you uh, next time around, uh, maybe at a later time. But speaking of experience, so we have the most, uh, ex one of the most experienced players in the side as well, Mr. Talal Iqbal, and uh, you know he doesn't need an introduction. Uh, I did two tours of Pakistan with uh, Talal Bhai and everybody in Pakistan uh, literally knows him by, by name. There are a couple of people who know me over there by name, but everybody over there knows him by name, which is huge. And no he has scored in his career over 20, 22,000 run, uh, runs to be exact and counting. So uh, with that, I will let you to uh, sort of, uh, you know, walk us through your journey. 22,000 runs is a milestone. That's crazy. You have been showing me your, your clippings as well from the newspapers. You have scored multiple times. You have scored double centuries, and which is, which is huge. So walk us through your experiences. How excited are you as a president as well as the captain of the Selected 16? And uh, over to you. Uh, thank you, Mayu. Uh, as uh, you have interviewed all the other guys, all started at the age of 10 and 12 in Pakistan, in Karachi basically. I've uh, been playing for almost now 38 years, 37 years now. At a younger age, I, as everybody told, in school, then college, then university. And at the age of uh, 25, 25, I left Karachi and I went to Saudi Arabia. I started playing there and in my first match, I scored a double hundred. Actually, Mr. Asad Zaman Khan, <coughs> he called me, he was there. So he told me to come and uh, play some cricket and uh, make some money. So I was playing good cricket in Pakistan, but uh, you know some politics uh, came in between, and and I left uh, Karachi and I went to Saudi Arabia. And as I told you in the first match, I scored 206 not out. And after that, 18 years in Saudi Arabia and UAE, I've been uh, scoring as you told and I mean I show you my stats also a long time before. I show you my stats too but you never believe in those <laughs> some, for whatever reason. No, no, we, <laughs> we believed in you and we took to you Pakistan twice just <laughs> for that reason and you bowled pretty well. The biggest name of Karachi, uh, Sajid Ali, you bowled him, uh, uh, I think you got him twice. Okay. Anyways, so it all started and I've told you that I mean here in, I came here in 2011 and since then I've been playing for Ghaznavi and CCC and now I'm in Go Green playing Elite and uh, Premier Division. So it's, I mean, it's all about passion. I, as uh, everybody told that age is just a number and it's the passion that counts. It's the mileage that counts. And I am also very much excited to be, be with all those players. All those players and uh, players like uh, Farooq Kirmani, Rohan Jaisekra. Uh, um, uh, Ish Shanta, Rafiullah. Rafiullah, I know him for the last 30 years now. He's, he also played with me in Karachi, Pakistan. Mr. Asad he, he, I know him for 35, 35, 36 years. We used to be neighbors. So um, definitely this tour, I'm really looking forward to it. And, and as uh, you said that, I mean, passion is the main thing. I mean, fitness, 
Now we have to, uh, it all depends on us. It's individual, we have to keep ourselves fit uh, to compete with all those test, seven test playing nations. They, they are not, I mean, uh, easy piece of cake, mm -hmm. definitely. We, are, we have a good team, as you, as you told that we, in this selection process, we were very, very, very uh, transparent. And, and cutthroat? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it was, it was. I mean, a lot of, uh, I, I know three to four, Pe uh, guys can easily make it into their team, but I mean, they are much better players than them. So that's why they are here and uh, they, will be they are selected and uh, I hope and I pray that they do well there. Okay. Just to, uh, just to add yeah, on to sure, some, some more things because I've been very excited to express my thing and I thought sure. that I have very limited time to express myself. Uh, beyond that, I'll tell you my, my one thing that I have done uh, great to coaching, I've done the great co co coaching from UK and I have the certificate. What I found in this team, which was very important for everybody to know that most of the people are very correct. Mm -hmm. So this is what is the basics, basis of, of, of your correcting sense and including when I really got inspired by Saurabh Bhai because the, the thing uh, which is most important, like I can tell you, I can bet on it that we can still play better than the people who are playing in today's cricket because the, the things have changed. The, uh, you know, the training has not been done right. The only problem with us maybe is an energy. So the only thing which I see uh, in today's cricket and the cricket we played, it's we played a better cricket. I honestly, I tell you, this has been very organised. It's been like been under the coaches. We were never allowed when we were having not beer. We were never allowed to go just like that. We had to shave. We have to keep ourselves clean. There was a lot of things which we learned, which which brings a hum, very human kind of stuff. And uh, with that said, as I said that you know when, when we were in the ground and it was really hard for me to make it but you know somehow um, thanks to him that he, he never allowed to be, be there, he, he told me you have to come, you have to come. But what I found that people they were playing quite correct, correct cricket. So it, inshallah we have, I mean I am very pretty, I am very sure that you know once, once uh, the time comes we will definitely prove that you know this election was right. Absolutely and Thank just you, very quickly Shanta I would just like to get your two cents on your interaction with the, with the organization, which is Canadian Seniors Cricket Association in this case, what has your experience been in working with us? So very quickly. Um, it's been nothing but great. Uh, to be honest, uh, I, I wish I knew these guys, you guys were around a few years back. Um, I'm now uh, I could have played a few more years. So. <laughs> but it's uh, great, as I said, uh, great to know that we have an organization such as this to keep us going, to keep us at this stage, to keep us motivated to play cricket, to go on tours, to play good uh, cricket against good opposition. Uh, not too many uh, uh, have that opportunity. So uh, thanks you guys for uh, being around, to forming the association and uh, everything that we've done so far that I've come across in the last three months has been nothing but uh, fabulous. The Excellent best, the best you. part of this is you're bringing childhood and to us now. And so, so coming back to you, uh, Shanta, um, what are your thoughts about how excited are you to be part of this uh, World Cup? I mean, it's the first ever World Cup that's happening in in Sydney, Australia, on some of the prime uh, spots to to be playing cricket, Sheff Sheffield Shield, uh, something like that. I don't. I my tongue kind of twisted there, but you will be playing in those areas. How excited are you with this opportunity to, to play on those? Because I don't, I don't think that, uh, you know, once we go past 50, that there are many opportunities out there for individuals like us, like you folks, to be playing at such venues. Uh, for sure, for sure. I mean, uh, excitement is like at a peak, uh, for sure. I mean, the closest I came to a World Cup is uh, uh, 94, uh, we were at the uh, playing for Canada and we were trying to make the 96 World Cup uh, and we came in fifth and the top three went through uh, and that was the closest I came to playing any kind of a World Cup. So uh, this is the closest to that and that of course is uh, at the top level but the next best thing, I mean again I said to keep us going at this age, uh, these are the things that keep us going and, and gives us an incentive to, to keep playing, to be fed to practice uh, so again thanks to you guys uh, for forming the organization first and excitement as I said the next five months is uh, it's gonna be very stressful that's for sure because uh, just knowing that it's gonna be a big event uh, how you um, get your mindset uh, fitness aside you got to get you know uh, focused on certain things improve I mean 
you got to raise your level that much more when you go to that level uh, of cricket. So it's okay. not just like us playing friendly cricket or even league cricket here, but when you come up against those guys, I'm pretty sure uh, there are going to be some good players that you're coming up against, if not really good players. So we have to raise the, the bar that much more uh, yeah. to, to compete. Uh, basically, so what what been I'm sorry, yeah. uh, basically what been taught to us while we were playing, while we were in the childhood time, uh, four thing which is very very important. I always uh, most of the time I mentioned this, so I never wanted to leave at this point. There are four there are four things which is very important in life, be it family, be it cricket, be it anything. Uh, two things which you you should have to have, and two things you shouldn't be having. One is passion which has to have in anywhere. Second one is patience. See, Absolutely. these t these two things you have to have mm -hmm. and two things you shouldn't be having. One is fear and second is greed. You shouldn't be having these, you should be having two things and two not. Mm -hmm. so because with greed you do a lot of wrong things and with fear you don't play openly. So these been taught to us while we were right. childhood and we brought this way. Right. So this actually, is uh, sorry to cut you off there, but those four things that you just kind of mentioned, that is actually true in various walks of Everywhere. life as well, right? Everywhere. So even in the corporate environment, Correct. the sport teaches us exactly that to apply in corporate exactly. environment as well, that you know, greed, you cancel your greed and you cancel your fears and you're going to be uh, sitting where you deserve to be sitting yeah. at one point in time. So absolutely rightly so. One thing that I wanted to mention, and I wanted to ask you this question, uh, Talal, that, uh, you know, collectively, when I look at these 16 players who have been selected, collectively, collectively I see over 280 years of cricketing experience just sheer cricketing experience so with that experience where do you see the team combination where do you see the success factor the success rates at this tournament uh, as you mentioned the team yeah 16 players they're all good players I mean I'm telling you we have some very good left on spinners we have uh, we've got two right on leg spinners we've got two keepers Wicket keepers. I mean, we have got seven to seven to eight good batsmen with three fast bowlers. I mean, this is a very good combination, and all of them, all the players that who have been selected, have played top level cricket in Canada and back home in their countries. So I'm very, very hopeful that this this team will do a good job, and uh, I can see the potential in them. And I mean, it's definitely they'll they will improve because we have some uh, five months of uh, time left. And Farubai has just uh, was mentioning me that he will give a, uh, a coaching uh, tips to everyone. We'll be meeting, we'll be playing matches, we'll be practicing together. And with a good bunch of cricketers, definitely we'll improve and uh, we'll do better in this tournament. That's for sure. I Next think one of the one of the good decisions they have taken to bring the the name so early. You know, to make the, the, the to to make the combination of the team. Usually, what happens? You keep the you keep on training, you keep on like uh, exercising everything, and you you put the names at the end of the at the before the beginning of the tournament. But I think before I was thinking it has to be done by that way. But I think it's a good uh, decision to take to give the names now, so that everybody is mentally prepared, and everybody will be keeping themselves so in, in the, like into it because now they know they have to play. They have no choice. But now the time before, n from now till end, this is the good time for us to bring up the Absolutely. the same Absolutely. energy and I everything. I think it's a very good. More than that, Rafiola. So thank you for uh, being with us today. Thank you, Shanta, for being thank with us today. Play, yes. Thank you, Talal Bhai, for being with us today and organizing this whole thing. Uh, really do appreciate it. I cannot stress enough that how excited I am to be part of this uh, journey as well from the be. back end perspective and looking, really looking forward to be with you folks in the November <coughs> time frame. And with that, uh, we are a wrap here, folks. And uh, find uh, us um, on Facebook. Uh, thank you so much to Sports Trends as well for setting this whole thing together. Thank you to Sports Trends, uh, specifically uh, Farouk Bhai for setting this uh, whole thing together for the press release earlier on that we had, as well as from the, for the coverage, our uh, selection coverage uh, as well. And going forward, we expect more and more and more contributions from your side as well. And, uh, and hopefully, uh, we'll take this journey even further um, um, uh, as, we, as we go through. And, and with that, thank you so much. And have a good night and uh, sweet dreams. Bye-bye.